this is very much a country to country affair. Pretty decent crowd in here, the Nungambakam Tennis Centre in Chennai, enjoying some fabulous singles earlier on. And now, of course, they're ready for uh, the generally quicker doubles. And that's, of course, because of the new rules. Just a quick reminder about how that second semi final went Baptista Agut versus uh, Benoit Pair. Pair taking the uh, quick opening set rather easily. Reminder about how the second, that second semi final went Baptista Agut versus uh, Benoit Pair. Pair taking the uh, left just a shade short. Broken right at the end of the set, and then Batista Agu finishing it off. The young Spaniard is actually on his eighth year on the tour, and has just about bro broken into the top 100. So, in a sense, his journey has just begun. Great pair of legs, motors along. Of course, Beno pair all six foot five of a terrific reach. And, uh, very good at the net, but the big vamos at the end as Batista Agut goes through to the final of the ESL Chennai Open. Coming back from behind, losing the first, broken just once then. Much better in the second and of course hung tough in the third. So let's pick up our double semi-final on the far side. White and black, the Ratibatana twins. I'll just give you a little more about uh, the twins, uh, Sanchai and uh, Somchat, Ratibatan. Of course, both similar, uh, the same age at 30, and virtually the same height, probably the same weight as well. 65, their current ranking, but they've been much higher, 39. They won two ATP tour events in the doubles, so they've got a lot of ability. And one of them right here in Chennai in 2008. Three minutes. Uh, just a minor difference in the spelling between the two. That was Sonchat and now Sanchai. Yep, just about everything the same. Maybe uh, a kilo lighter. And the same ranking, same, 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 same. Very difficult to tell them apart. You have to know them really well. But uh, they've played exceedingly well in the 2013 edition of the ASL Chennai Open. Fantastic at the net. Makes such a... A difficult pair to beat at the net. That's how they've uh, come to the fantastic at the net pays and such a straight sets. And Devarman and Stakovsky also straight six three seven five. Rock solid at the net. The Ratibatana twins and very competent with the serve. They don't mess around too much with the ground strokes. Comes rushing into the net at the earliest possible opportunity. But, uh, one can say that they played a very good pair, uh, the second season, the opening round, but Pays and uh, Eduardo Roger Vaselin, of course, uh, don't play too much together. Two minutes.
straight sets over Delgado and Skupski, who uh, were fourth seeds, 7-6-6-2. And then uh, Bedene and Kavcic, very good in the first, 7-6. Very close, that is. And then uh, the Germans ran away with the second set, 6-1. This is the lower half of the draw, fighting for a place in the final. The Radyutana twins, of course, know how to win and win right here in Chennai. The Germans, let's see, playing their match on center court. They're delighted at the opportunity, but it comes with a certain pressure. Ah, well, apart from the prize money, this is what they're fighting for. Some new trophies unveiled for the ASL Chennai Open. On the gleaming, magnificent. Almost set. The doubles draw, of course, went through uh, an enormous amount of turmoil. Not only did Leander Pays and Edouard Roger Vasselin, the second seeds, get beaten in the open round, but Mahesh Bhupati and Daniel Nestor, who will be playing together the rest of the season, got past their first round against the Indian wildcards, the youngsters Balaji and Nedun Cherian. But in the second, in the quarterfinal, that is, were uh, pretty handily beaten by Klaassen and Monroe. Watch out for those guys, they'll be up next. Also, the third seeds, Rohan Bapana, Rajiv Ram, out of the tournament, as well as the fourth, Ready, Delgado and Skupski. So, we're all set. First semi-final, doubles. That's how they do it. Very clever serving. And the man at the net, only rarely missing. And that two tough opportunities, they put away the easy ones very quickly. And in an effort to beat the man at the net, the opposition every once in a while tries to do too much. Good judgment. Oh, they do it so quietly, so efficiently. First game. Came in with the second serve. Nice, precise volley. And even though there was the poach, it came a little late. Not easy. Sanchai and Soncha Ratiwatan. Gonna serve first. Andre begin to serve. So Begeman starting out. No challenge. Yep, not the first time. Much better in the second. An early indication that uh, Begemann's serve is not going to be that easy to break. Oh, that was 
so well done. Backhand cross court, took the pace off, dipping, and then a lovely poach of the net. So strong at the net, Begaman and Emmerich level it at one all. Too good. <laughs> he swatted that back at 167. So the Ratiwathana twins given a taste of their own medicine in that rally. Too good. A big Love forehand him. sent back by Rati Uthana. But then a nice smash to finish it off. Oh, skimming over the net. Fooling the man there into thinking perhaps he's going to crash into the net. An exceptional return. Oh. Yeah, the eye formation working for the twins. Just forcing the Germans to do something special. And they've uh, miscued more often than not when the ties play the eye oh just long caught it well did Emmerich and bang so a good recovery by the 40, twins. 30. Down love 30. Oh, how good was that? We told you they served efficiently. Another service game closed out well by the ties. They are on serve 2-1 in the opening set. A pretty easy hole for Begemann in the opening service game for the Germans. Let's see what Emmerich has. Lefty. Oh. 
Oh, brilliant, Basanchai. Again, they don't hit hard, but uh, very clever. No pace at all. And dipping rapidly to Emmerich's ankles. Unable to pick it up. Oh, that one's better. Good serve. Isn't that just brilliant? Beggarman moved a bit to his left and uh, Sanchai played that perfectly got his body out of the way again didn't overheat it Begaman was playing Begaman so far the inside. On the right center oh, and a side. challenge as well. That did look long. But uh, Begaman happy to challenge. Yeah. Ten seconds. We look wide, is what I meant to say. Going down the middle. Sonchat, good port, overhitting it. Begaman stands uh, just a step more to the center than most doubles players of the net. Yeah, a little bit of a hustle. Threatened to move left and didn't, but put off Sanchai. Ensuring that Emmerich holds easily. Two games all in the opening set. The Germans are pretty busy. And let me remind you that uh, they have been playing together and have actually won an ATP Tour event in Vienna last year. So they too know how to win. Know how to hang in there. Again, such a good serve, very precise, Perfect. just about finding outside corner. Trademark tennis by the Thai duo. Again, out wide. And the man at the net with an easy put away. This is how to play the game. Making it look so simple. The twins from Bangkok. Emrick. Not very clever with his return. So, again, we stay. Shown good account of their skills. <laughs> A lovely team. Begaman with the error. The Germans, like the Thais, are very quick to get to the net. Here he is. Oh, what a wonderful angle. Of course, he had a lot of time on that one, but still. Controlled it beautifully. Miss Q. By Sunshine, an, an easy put away. Or should we say put away with great style. Yeah, it works, doesn't it? 
Thirty according to plan, the man of the net. All over that one. Again, the eye. Forcing Sancho to come up with something special. He couldn't. Well, once you have a plan, then it's up to the server to ensure that he serves in exactly that coordinate. Bang. Good overhead. One. This is very good. Clinical doubles by both the teams, doing everything right, putting the ball in the right places, serving very accurately, both very strong at the net. Nothing really to choose between these two. He just clipping the line. Brilliant. Oh yes, for a change. Emmerich. The wonderful return. The space was there. But still a very special backhand did everything right the score for the moment an indication of how well matched these teams are 15 all three all <laughs> finally the athletic leaping overhead what a lovely point the feature of it was, of course, the first volley. This is later. Twice the ball came back when it shouldn't have. Once by Begemund, next time by Emmerich. Finally, the put away. Well, that's a big error by Legerman. Really should have made that return. However, we stay on serve in the opening set. Very evenly contested. Double semi final here on center court, the Nungumbakum tennis facility in Chennai. The Germans giving as good as they get, good serving. Oh, just as I said that, the first real error by Begerman. Didn't time his leap quite so accurately. Otherwise, it was a relatively easy overhead. Yes. Found himself in a slightly awkward position, Begerman. 
40 seconds. Handled it well. Uh, with a decent return, Sanchat. Nothing wrong with that. Just very well handled at the net. Swerved it in, found the corner again. In a second serve, ace. All 167. Gone. Still nothing to choose between the two. The Germans hold to level at four all. It's going to be Sonchat serving. Game number nine. Again, the man of the net in that I formation serve. Just putting off the return. Oh, yes. The Southpaw Emmerich. Finding that serve right in the slot. Forehand up the line. Catching. Sanchai a little off guard. It was struck at great pace though. Oh. Yeah, easy call. To the body and Begemann got jammed there. Very well angled, but of course the damage was done because of the accuracy of the serve. Right down the center. This is just fantastic doubles. So clean. So efficient. Oh, well done. Wasn't such an easy overhead. Sunshine made absolutely no mistake, and we remain on serve in the opening game. Set. Time. Well, this is the business end, and uh, although there's nothing yet to indicate that uh, Begemon will have a service broken. You never know. Too easy. Like practiced professionals, both the teams giving nothing away. And I am uh, just joined, if you've caught your breath, by <laughs> Anand Amrit Raj. Anand, thanks so much for joining us. Such clean professional double so far. Uh, I watched the last two games from court side, and uh, the way <coughs> they're hitting the ball is quite amazing. The pace of it, the quickness of the hands. Ah. Oof, just wide. Big serving on both sides of the net. Well, the Germans may have a bigger serve, but the Ratibatana twins have such accurate serves that it's just 
They make it so much easier for the man of the net. Yeah, and they know each other so well as well. They move right or left. They play the eye formation so well. They were superb the other day against uh, Leander and uh, Roger Vaseline on the first night. Sancha indicating that was wide and that's how it's turned out to be. Not that there was any challenge. Ah, uh, that's well played. Well, the first blocked return is what set the point up from Sanchat over there. Got the ball below the level of the net. And then the heavy ground strokes. Would it be fair to say that in the past there'd be a lot more lobbing, but these days uh, the athleticism has uh, risen so far that they can easily backpedal to most of the lobs and, and suddenly it becomes a defensive situation. Most of them, yes, but if you hit the lob within a foot or two of the baseline, you still have... You can put the team on the at a disadvantage. See, that's not good enough right there. But it's very hard to do off of a, a good serve like that. But if you've got... Leanna does it so well in the deuce court with his backhand slice lob. And, uh, it, it, you know, old school doubles still works out. And the lob is definitely a part of old school doubles. Especially when both the, uh, the opposite team members are right at the net, big at the net. Good time to love, but uh, people are intent on just banging the ball back. Oh. Of course, uh, not that that doesn't work. It does. Let well, there's every indication that this first set is headed for a tiebreaker. And... Uh, That's it. Serves not in the 200 range as we see in singles, but very solid, very well placed, and in doubles a premium placed on a high percentage of first serves, which is the way to play doubles. Oh, oh, oh. Well left. Yeah, what a good leave. Very well uh, left. Sanchai and Sanchat uh, the ball was using out. their challenge. And it's a good one to use. It was barely out if it was. Oh, yes, it is, though. Yeah. Then then so that should make it 5 all. Five and we remain on serve. Nothing to choose between these two teams. Emmerich's got the biggest serve. He served one out wide and ace at 199. That's wow, big. That's big. All right now it's Sanchai. Oh, oh missed it. <laughs> Did all the hard work and missed the easy one. German team. Really unfortunate for them. That was a great dig by Sanchai. Oh, that's a challenge right Maybe there as well. The call on the left near sideline. The ball was called out. Well, he had a good look at it. These two boys here former winners of the Chennai Open. Oh, again, missed by less than an inch. Tennis. Always say tennis is a game of inches and in doubles is even more so. We'll have to amend that to millimeters now. Millimeters. Oh, Forget the inches, guy. yeah. Oh, good hands. That's not good. <laughs> Well, if you love it, better not be that short. You're taking your life in your hands. 30, 50. Well, the twins play classic doubles. They're just uh, solid at the net, good hands. They understand each other so well. Return well. The guy in the ad court, Sanche, the better backhand. But uh, overall, I love to watch them play. Yeah, well done. Even though you may not have caught that clean, but... Uh Good Easy enough. winner, yeah.
went off the circuit for about a year or so, at, or at least the results were not as good, but come back with a vengeance. Look at the hands. Oh. Well, two or three of the biggest misses have come from Begemann. A little embarrassed about that, but uh, we stay on serve in the opening set. Time. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this first double semi final of the evening. Airsal Chennai Open. Begemann and Emmerich of Germany against the Rote Watana twins. Games have been on serve, past 11 games, and now the Germans trying to hold on to force a tiebreaker. Yes, beautiful. All four players playing classic old school doubles. None of the staying at the back, one at the front, one at the back doubles as we've seen a little bit off here at the Chennai Open. Ah, great serve. Very Big lefty, lefty serve. Well, he not only has the lefty advantage, but also the pace. Like I said, 199 on occasion, nearing 200. Big serve. Oh, wow. Sanchat really caught that one perfectly. Let's take another look at this. Well, using the pace of the server and picking his side early, you couldn't hit it more perfectly than that. 198. Right, I was about to say, a server at 198 came rocketing back. No reply by Emrick. A little trouble with the toss. Yes, good volley. Nice and deep. Yeah, the return was high over the net, so you still have to execute, and he executed it wonderfully, that volley. Now three game points to make it uh, six all. Germans and closing in. Both teams receive one additional challenge. Tie break to decide the set. First to seven points with a margin of two. Just had to be the way these guys are playing. Nothing to separate the two. It has to come down to a tie break. And even here, there's danger of it going to, well, anything a difference <laughs> of two. One zero. 
Good second serve. Right, so right 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 Surprised Emmerich were going into his forehand on the second. Strategy session. Well, German's a little lucky there. The second, the first One volley off. by Emmerich was short, and Sanchai just got there a bit late, but still, they turned the point around the Germans. Was hit at full stretch, that volley by Emmerich. He'll be glad he even got there in the first place, and of course, eventually took the point. Oh. Two one. I'm just a little slow to react. Uh, he knows he. Should have done better with that. Probably anticipating a return with much greater pace, so he almost took a couple of steps back before he realized that it was a soft ground stroke and then just a little late to recover. A lack of pace in that ground stroke. Unfortunate time for a double. They had the mini break and now gave it back. All square, two points all. Tried to su surprise them into the forehand. <laughs> yeah. Net guard helping the Germans. 3 2. Begaman Emery. The one thing about the twins, they never get upset with each other. Usually <laughs> smiling and, you know, carrying on. Or at worst, deadpan. Deadpan. See what Sanchai can do here with this serve. This is the lefty serve, but the better one of the two Germans. Emmerich. Yeah. Ooh, that was close. Well played. Great half volley from Emmerich. Almost on the baseline and then a great smash. So from being 1-2 down, they won the last three points. But considering how close they've been all through the set, this is a huge lead uh, for the Germans. Yeah. Well, if they win this point, consolidate the break point on their serve, it'll, it will be a huge lead. Pressure will go back to the other side of the net. Germans just stayed rock Five solid two. at the net. Begaman, Begaman particularly. There we go. And then this one too. Very well handled. Well, and this volley he could have done more with, but tried to play the short angle. And failed. Still very, very good net play from the Germans. Especially this man right there. 2-5. Oh, too big a swing. Six, two. Bigger man, the ball hit with a lot of pace straight at you. And it's a little little late in reacting. A whole fistful of set points for the German team. Oh, well played. Again, a wonderful serve. But... Uh, 
The ties continue to be under all sorts of pressure in this opening set tie break. Begaman to try to close out the set. Second serve and volley from Andre Begerman, and now the Germans win the first set, seven games to six. One set to love for the German team. Andre Begerman, Martin Emmerich, over the Rote, Rote Vatana twins from Thailand. Men's double semi-final at the Aircell Chennai Open 2013. A very well-played first set. Solid doubles on both sides, no service breaks. And the Germans prevailed in the tiebreaker. As we see the stats, 81% first serves for the ties, 65 for the Germans, aces 4 and 2 for the German team, only one double fault among the four, 21 winners for the Germans to 13 for the ties and 7 to 4 on the unforced errors. No break points on either side. Very clean doubles. Well, unless there's a, a break somewhere in set number 2, certainly looks like it's going to go the same way. Both pairs doing a really good job of taking care of their service games. Exactly how doubles should be played. getting ready for the second set. The ties, not their best tiebreaker. Sure, they are a little bit concerned, but still, it's only a second set and a match tiebreaker for the third, so they could easily turn this around. I'm not sure exactly why, what the delay is. Ty sitting around waiting. Oh, the Germans have taken a break. They've gone, they've gone off court. Seems to happen a lot. Usually from the losing side or the losing player, or the person who lost the previous set. But uh, kind of amazing that the Germans have decided to take a toilet break or whatever. It's quite a long one as well. The crowd a little bit thinner now with no Indian interest in the singles or doubles, which is a real shame. Somdev losing last night in the doubles to uh, the ties. Still a few diehard fans still around. Kids having a good time. 
love to watch themselves on the big screen. The ladies as well. Come on, give us a wave. <laughs> well, Ty's ready to go. It's amazing the reaction to seeing oneself on the big screen in the stadium or whatever. Most people get hyper excited. Some people get embarrassed. There seems to be no deadpan. You know? No, that's right. I, I don't know why they should be embarrassed. Well, they hide their faces or, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hide their faces. <laughs> Unless you're on the wanted list, you shouldn't be hiding your face. <laughs> or maybe you shouldn't be there be in school or somewhere uh, or whatever okay. else or, or at work. Both the ties have beautiful backhands, especially the Sanchai in the ad court. I saw him hit a spectacular one in the tiebreaker against uh, Leander and Roger Vaslen to make it two all, and that turned the tide of the whole match around the tiebreaker around anyway. Went from, went from being a close tiebreaker to 7 6 6 1 very quick. That was in the first round. Yeah, in fact, in the doubles, I was mentioning this earlier. Chats. Uh, before you could get to the quarterfinals, all four top seeds gone. So all four. Right, right. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Oh, yes. Solid. We've had a big shake up in the singles as well. Only one seed surviving. The second, Janko Tipsarovic. And he will be taking on. I can't say young because he's been on the tour for what seven, eight years now, but he's only 24. Bautista Agut in the final. I really didn't oh. think that uh, pair was going to lose today. He was the number five seed in the tournament and ranked 47 right. and uh, lost to a guy 30, sp 30 odd spots behind him. But I think he got tired towards the end. I think it was the problem, just like Burdish did yesterday, in my opinion. Oh, true. He was uh, going for broke. Hit or miss. And very early in the rally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he had it. He had it lined up. Well, the the Martin Emmerich serve certainly the stronger one of the two. It's always a challenge to return a good lefty serve, especially in the ad court. Oh, well done. Big hitting from Sanchai. And so precise, exactly down the middle. Couldn't fault him for that at all. And eventually Embrick with the error. Now a slight opening for the ties. Body serve. 14. That's Jamming Sancha. Perfect placement into the right hip. 190 kilometers. Yes. Game Nicely minute. done. First game, second second. Not only does he serve possibly the best among the four, but also so ably supported by Bergman at the net. Well, Charo, next week I have a very interesting assignment. I'm going to be in uh, Pune for about four days to work with the, actually with one of the teams in the Maharashtra Team Tennis League as uh, part of the Babylon team is one of five teams that they play a team tennis format in Maharashtra with the, all the top men and all the top girls from India Vishnu Varadhan, Sanam Singh is on our team the Babylon team oh, and okay. uh, we've got uh, Purav Raja as well to play doubles and should be really fun I'm looking forward to it and I'm going to be there to work the boys out <laughs> well, it's a welcome development yeah and I think it be good, uh, good for the game a part of what's happening in India, a sporting revolution, many leagues are uh, oh. crouching. 
I have no doubt that other states will follow. So much more action for uh, the boys and the girls, I suppose. Law 15. Babylon always a huge part of tennis in India. So they are one of the team owners and we've got four others. So a total of five teams in this Maharashtra Tennis League. And in Pune, especially at the Deccan Gymkhana, which is the home of Indian, one of the homes of Indian tennis. We played our Davis Cup final there in 1974, beating Russia. So it'll be fun to go back. Oh, the tie is jumping out of the way, but the ball is well in. Was hit at great pace and perhaps he thought might say long. Hmm, a little bit of uh, trouble early in the second set for the Rati Vatana twins. And now a big opening. At this point, if they get through the Germans, they will have four break points. Ooh, very close on that second serve. Oof, what happened there? Completely whiffed it. I love <laughs> I think the man of the net made a movement as he was going for it with the forehand. Here we are, the next one, and then this suddenly one. he backed off. There we go, backed off. Oh yeah, yeah. well the first guy, yeah. the first first of the twins made a movement with his hand, so the second one took his racket out of the way, which is a shame because it was his ball. That well, still with the new no ad scoring system, they have three more break points, which of course puts tremendous pressure on the ser serving side. Maybe losing the tie break and the manner in which they lost it has just taken a little bit of. Steam away from the Ratiotana. Tennis, very well done. 30, 40. Two second serves and two pretty average returns. We got two more. Well, these guys have to do better. This is a huge chance to get ahead. Yes. And that's a big first serve. Again, a Starting big swing three, by Embrick. The Thais looking around to see who's going to take it. I guess Andre Begerman is the man. Yeah, well, he's been more steady. Emmerich more spectacular with the returns. Oh, yeah, that's too good. Tremendous save by the Rotevatana Rote twins. That was absolutely huge. It could have put them in a massive hole if they had lost that game. But now, back in business in the second set. Emrick clearly indicating that they uh, blew a very important opportunity. Being a setup and a breakup would have just made it so much relatively easier for the Germans to run away with it. Ooh, just long. <laughs> Only just. Probably a bit of a miss hit. Went for a big second. Not so much in speed, but in placement. He tried to put it right in the corner, hitting it wide. Well, the ties have a better chance on this serve here than the lefty. Well, he's the one they have to attack. Too good. What a finish by Embrick. Well, they closed the net so well, both the Germans. And actually, a lob would be an excellent idea right here because they, they're both with their noses touching the net. So, I mean, you have to keep them honest with the lob every now and then, even if you lose the point.
Solid backhand volley. Very good technique from uh, Martin Emmerich here. This is classic doubles. Watch this. No backswing, just a firm block. Open court. Well, the Germans are also mixing up their serves well. Second double. Second double this game, which still ahead 40 30. Look how close he is to the net, New probably less than a foot away. And would be a perfect time to lob, but it doesn't happen. And the uh, German team up 7 6, 2 1. The movement from Martin Emmerich forcing the error as well as the good return. You know, just sports psychology. Winning that tie break seems to ensure the Germans have retained the spring in their step. While the Ratipatana twins are just a little, you know, the body language is not 100%. Yeah, nice pickup. Or so I sense. Right into the slot, and Andre Begerman just drubs it down the line, forcing a very difficult half volley from a server. Yeah, 15 30, little trouble again for the Twins. Yeah, great serve. Virtual. Yeah, a little bit of serve. 178. Begerman catching that late. Turn from Emmerich. Starting point, receiver shots. Again, break point number five of this set. That for half. Yeah, too much air on it, allowing Begerman enough time to poach. Yeah, great serve. Emmerich again, forced to make a very difficult shot. Two against all. I was delighted to have got away a second <laughs> time. <laughs> well, good pretty, to see the smile. Pretty pleased with themselves. That's what they need. Just a little morale uplifter. Had so few chances on the German serve, though. Certainly very few on the Emmerich serve. The lefty has been serving very well at pace. I must say, Begerman all of six foot two has been extremely active at the net, often putting off the return. Yeah, that was in. Lovely team. Good start here. Oh. 
Yeah. And here's the chance they were looking for after holding on to two very tough service games. The Twins at Love 30. You did mention that Sanchai backhand and he used it to great effect. Such a clean strike. And last Matching each other backhand for backhand. That was Sanchat with the superb down the line. Just watch this. Blocks it beautifully. No backswing using the pace of the serve. Clean strike of the ball. Now, Pendulum has swung back and four break points for the ties. Let's see the Germans are up to it. Great volley. Well done. Yeah, watch what I know, watch what I know. The ties get the break and lead 3-2 in the second set, having lost the first. lift their spirits of course they bailed themselves out despite being well behind in the last two service games ah great return as Rico and I were saying earlier watch the Thai twins play if one of them is having a bad serving day the other one could just serve all the way through and nobody would know <laughs> If Sanchai was having a bad day, Sanchai could serve all the way through and nobody would know the difference. <laughs> I can't tell them apart. I mean, I could tell the Bryans apart, I could tell the Galixons apart. These guys, no way. Uh, a sudden chance for the Germans to come right back. Was a good pick up the first time around by Murati Vatanas, but couldn't finish the point. Yeah, good body serve. No, <laughs> not only are they completely identical to, to, to the average eye, but they also wear exactly the same clothes with that wristband on the right wrist, and it's just, you know, they make it very difficult for us. Right. Uh, also, these are probably the only set of twins who play tennis who are both right-handed. Normally it's one righty, one lefty, so you can tell them apart. That's well played. Heavy, two huge forehands from Emmerich. A chance right away to break back. The second serve, a little short and hung, hung a bit. Make a difficult volley and this was tough. Yeah, please, right back. Patevatana caught behind the service line, but not the place to be. Well, that first point set up the whole break back, whole path for the break back. Three all. 
very strong reply by the Germans. Just when you thought one team was pulling away in the second set, back to being level. Four. Almost had it. Well, just looking at the score sheet here, the Germans seem to be kings of the first set tiebreaker because the first round they beat the fourth seed team of Delgado and Skupski, the Brits, 7 6 6 2. And then the Slovenians, Bidin and Kapcic, 7 6 6 1. And then they won the set 7 6 again today. So seems to make all the difference. Ooh. I should have won that point. Always fun to watch good doubles as we're seeing right here. All the rat -a tat at the net and the the angles. And as we were saying, Charo, a few more lobs would be interesting to see. Even defensive lobs. Yeah, so good. Always nice to have a righty lefty combination. Yeah. I mean, you've got to be in pretty good position to hit uh, an aggressive, uh, offensive lob. But, uh, you know, e if you're a little off position, there's no harm popping it up uh, in the air, going for, you know, a nice deep lob. Not Jamie. easy to uh, and put in an aggressive overhead from the baseline. However, oh, Begaman and Embrick uh, hold, and uh, we're back on serve. In Well, that was an attempted lob. <laughs> he heard us. Went a little wide, but it was certainly an attempt. Yeah. Good service game. Well, that was a defensive lob attempted off the serve. Well, at least it was. Now, let's see if the Thais can make something happen again. Well, to his credit, if I remember correctly, yesterday um, in the quarters, some they've hit a couple of really nice offensive lobs that landed about a foot in. No reply at all, no chance. But of course, it was just a uh, few and far between. Well, you certainly need time to do that. The rolling topspin lob, you need kind of a loose ball and time to do it. Just look at Emmerich, uh, uh, Bergman, where he stands. He stands less than a foot from the net. I know he's a big guy, but certainly a lob every now and then would keep him honest. Well, the game has changed. He saw a lot more lobbing earlier on. Shame he had a pretty good look at that backhand. Seemed like he didn't have time to line it up. The volley came back pretty quickly. That's why perhaps the error. Plenty of space there though, you're right. Yeah. Three good first serves. Paul Tiller. think that Embrick was broken the last time. Ouch. Ooh. Almost nailed his partner there. <laughs> <laughs> Big miss. Yeah. Yep, and four quick points for the Germans. Full serve. To stay ahead 5-4 in the second set, having won the first in the tiebreaker.
time. Live action from the Aircell Chennai Open. Men's double semi final. The Thai twins against the two Germans, Emmerich and Begerman. Ooh. Lovely team. Tough start for the Ratevatanas. That was a good return, but certainly a makeable volley. Sometimes perhaps it's just the time of the set. You get a little tight, knowing that this is such a critical game because he would have made that ah, 19 times out of 20. Absolutely. Let. That's two lets. Time for a little twin talk. Maybe a change of strategy. Ooh, missed no, it. Tried to go for the really sharp angle. Totally, totally unnecessary, but uh, I mean, I was trying to put the ball away in the first volley, but just missed it wide. And now, big trouble. Well, that's two backhand volleys missed consecutively. Well, good one. Miss it by Begerman. That's a good body serve from the Thais. Well, this is a massive point. Wow. What a serve. Wow. For a time for it, too. Just to remind those watching, both teams know how to win. The Germans won in Vienna last year, and the Ratibhatanas two tour titles, one here in Chennai, 2008. Yeah, great serve. 14, 13. Almost pulled off that return, though. Hit the tape. There it is, there's the lob. Well, the Germans solid at the net. Pushing the Rotevatanas back. Yes. And now, Inside match point, point for the German the team and game point for the Thais. That's the beauty of the no ad scoring system. Let me put, put another quick plug for, for lobs. <laughs> And Matthew Emmerich with a huge chance here. There it is. And the Germans do it. Superb backhand return straight at the ties. Closing out the first match point that they've had. And the Germans move on to the final 7-6, 6-4. Plenty of tennis fans still here at the Nungambakum Tennis Centre in Chennai and the Germans with a loud round of applause. Very generous spectators. And I'm sure they appreciated some fine, high quality doubles by two professional teams. It helps that uh, they play for the same country and play together very often. The Germans uh, prevail in two, as Anand was saying earlier, tiebreak specialists in this tournament in the opening set. Uh, just that one, well, two breaks in second, it got broken as well once. So still a better serve percentage by the Rati but, um It's the winners by the Germans, much more than the Rati Vatanas, and sure they had a few more unforced errors. Not too much in that uh, double semi-final, however, they played the tie break much better in the opening set, and just the one extra break in the second set, giving them a place in the final of the SL Chennai Open 2013 doubles event. So just to confirm, Begerman and Emberich 
The German duo through to the final by getting past the Ratibatana twins from Bangkok, Thailand. 7 6, six four. We'll take a very short break and we'll come back with the last match of this evening. The second semi-final. Don't go away. <laughs>